Well, it is a beautiful morning here in downtown Greenville, and we are live here at the lobby of the General Morgan in a very special place, and we are certainly excited to share that story with our viewers this morning. We want to welcome Patricia Bohan to the show, and Patricia, thank you so much for hosting us. Oh, you're welcome. We're glad you're here. And we are learning so much about what makes the General Morgan Inn so special, the history and the service and the luxury, and it's just that full package. We're here in the lobby, and we were talking about how it truly is the heart of the community. It really is. It's an elegant location for people to come and sit in the lobby with the beautiful fireplace that's behind us. And um, it is a great place for anyone to socialize. Well, and I love the attention to detail. I mean, when you first walk in, you know you're somewhere special, whether it's the beautiful chandeliers, the different furniture that you have. I mean, the attention to detail is pretty spectacular. It is, and uh, uh, the hotel has been kept up very well in the time that it's been open. Uh, so uh, we're grateful to have the hotel here in downtown Greenville. That's the ask. Uh, that makes it a uh, little bit more pleasurable to see it downtown. Yeah, it's really neat and of course it really is in the heart of it downtown, heart downtown Greenville. Downtown. And the history behind it, of course we talked about just celebrating the 20th anniversary which is just an incredible and I know you guys did quite the celebration for that. We had a huge celebration last September. Um, we had about 150 people attend. Um, the local people who helped uh, start the hotel back 20 years ago, got to stay in their guest rooms, and also had a lovely dinner and some nice entertainment on our garden terrace. Oh, beautiful. And mm -hmm. of course, some of that is renovated, but the history of the property actually dates back to like the late 1800s, and we've got some incredible photographs, and of course, it's been some different hotels over the years, but I understand when you first walked in 20 years ago, I mean, this place looked nothing like it did today. No, um, it was the downtown was not developed yet. The hotel was gorgeous, um, but the town hadn't been developed. Uh, it's gorgeous now. You you drive downtown and you say, "Wow, uh, what a beautiful atmosphere!" So, when they first walked in, because it took kind of a community to say we want this place revived. It we did. wanted to come back to life. But I understand when they first came in. I mean the ceiling was sort of falling down, some of the windows were broken. I mean, it looked like, are we crazy? <laughs> it did. It was closed in 1881 and did not open back up until 1996, so it was closed for many years. Um, and the town really came together. They wanted this, and um, they did it. And I think that's what makes it so special, is the community really came together to say, this is our place. And whether it's an Easter brunch or a visit with Santa, I mean, it seems like everybody has just embraced the heartbeat of this hotel. And it is. It is the town's hotel. And we are so grateful for the people who support us on a daily basis and lots of guests come in. We want to show you a couple of the different rooms that you have. Of course, all of the rooms seem to have their own special charm. Every room is almost decorated a little bit differently. They're very charming. Uh, we have 50 guest rooms and they all have their unique style, um, different sizes and personalities. And some of them have the old fireplace mantles that were in the original hotel. So that's very nice. And like you said, different couples have kind of come forward to help rebuild these rooms. And you even have the the presidential suite, which we got to go in and sort of tour yesterday, it is incredible. It is an incredible suite. It's a three-room suite. It has heated towel floors in the bathroom, heated towel rack, jacuzzi, oh. steam bath shower. Uh, it's every couple's dream for both the holidays, um, Valentine's, and for weddings. And of course, you mentioned just the, the heart of downtown Greenville, and we got to really experience the downtown last night, whether you're walking around the churches and the shops. It's such a special place, so it's really that full package getaway. It's very charming. We have opened many stores downtown. We have beauty shops. We have coffee shops. We have a, a lot to offer now, and we hope that it's going to get better and better. As and time for goes. Valentine's Day, you've got a special event. We do. We are having a dinner here at the hotel from 5 to 9. Reservations are required. 
We also have a nice special event in the ballroom. It's going to be the Tusculum College Jazz Band. Um, that is going to be wonderful. They're teaching swing lessons at 5:30, and then you the tickets are $55, and you get in and get a wonderful meal and get to listen to the Tusculum Jazz Band. Well, Patricia mentioned that wonderful meal. We're actually going to take you into the restaurant coming up here a little bit later. We're going to meet the executive chef. For more information or to book your stay, you can always check out their website. Lots of great information on the events that are coming up and how you can get in touch with the fine folks here at the General Morgan Inn. We're going to take a break. We're back with more of Daytime Tri-Cities live from beautiful, historic downtown Greenville right after this.